One of the chief attributes that I get asked to work uh, with athletes in developing is confidence. And that should probably come as no surprise. Everybody talks about confidence, particularly in athletics. Uh, we want, if we're a coach, we want our athletes to feel confident. If we are the combat athlete, we definitely want to feel confident going into the ring. But confidence is something that I personally feel, and this is a very controversial uh, opinion, co confidence is just simply overrated. My belief and what I tell athletes is you don't actually need confidence. Now, people kind of freak out a little bit when I say that because it really goes against the grain of coaching conventional wisdom. But here is why I say that. Think about this example. Everybody who's watching this video right now probably has learned to walk. No one taught you how to walk. You taught yourself how to walk. You taught yourself how to walk, if you walk, when you were a baby. Now, when you're a baby, you have no intellectual grasp of things like confidence. All you know is that when you're a baby, you want to walk. And we've all seen babies in the process of learning to walk. And we know what babies do. They fall down. Sometimes they fall down and hurt themselves. But here's what's interesting. They don't stop trying to teach themselves to walk. That's a very complicated motor skill for a baby. And yet there they are, falling down, tripping, sometimes hurting themselves, and they can't seem to stop themselves from wanting to learn to walk. They don't have confidence. What they have is what we need to have as athletes. They have desire. If you have desire, you can get past those times when you don't feel confident. And that's an important distinction right there. Feel confident. Confidence is not a thing. You know, confidence is not strength. Confidence is not having great cardio. Confidence is not really good punching technique or, you know, good clinch defense. Confidence is a feeling. Because confidence is a feeling, feelings are fleeting. And as I also say, feelings can lie to you. And we don't want to be taken in by lies. What if you're preparing for a competition, everything has gone great, nutrition's on point, training's on point, you peaked at the perfect time. You get into the ring, into the cage, and right then you notice you don't feel confident. So, do you just throw in the towel at that point? Of course not. You still go in and you do what you need to do. You can be anxious before a competition. You can be nervous. You can actually be afraid. You can be frightened out of your mind and you can still go in and perform brilliantly. You don't need confidence. Now, is confidence nice to have? Of course it is. You know, people bring me in specifically to develop attributes which all tie into cultivating confidence. But cult cultivating confidence is not waiting for some feeling to come down upon you and maybe it happens and maybe it doesn't. And if it doesn't, you know, that feels like you're lacking something. Where athletes typically trip themselves up is they get into their preparatory mode. Everything's going great. They're working really hard, but they end up not feeling confident. And because coaches make such a big deal about feeling confident, they feel as though they're lacking. And if they feel as though they're lacking, then they're lacking because their perception creates their reality. So if you feel as though you need confidence, but you don't have it when you want it, then that in your mind will create a problem. But what about this? What if you had the freedom to just march into the cage, march into the ring, on the mat, wherever it is that you ply your combat athletic skills, and you just are ready because you have desire. You want to do your thing. If the confidence is there, great. If the confidence isn't there, well, it's just not there today. You have no control over having an upset stomach before a match, how much sleep you got, if you're jet lagged because you had to travel to where your fight is. You have no control. You just know that that could be part of the landscape on a given day. And you just fight on based on that understanding, that knowledge of that reality. Confidence is the same way. If you don't feel confident for whatever reason, don't feel as though that's a problem. Just feel as though it's the same thing as being a little bit tired, you know, being a little bit jittery, whatever it is. You don't need it.
And if you can fight without worrying about feeling confident or not, the next time you fight, you're probably going to come into that experience with some confidence and it will be a cumulative process. The more you release yourself from feeling that you are dependent on confidence for success, the more confidence, ironically, you will ultimately build, that you will carry with you in the ring, in the cage, on the mat, and in life.